I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. Today I'm going to share with you a very powerful tool that you can use for LARPing. This is something that is especially helpful if you are a game runner or if you run missions or plot lines or anything like that. So if you're NPC, this is something that will be immensely helpful. Um, if you're a player, it can also help you maybe with backstories and other things. But no matter how you use it, it is definitely something that can help you flesh out ideas, come up with ideas, and just expand upon ideas as well. Now, some people have varying sentiment on artificial intelligence. However, I view it as a powerful tool that we can utilize, and there is no reason not to use it, in my opinion, um, especially if it makes everything that you do faster and easier. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we can do to have AI help us out with our LARP. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and go to ChatGPT. Now, the way I would do that is I would go ahead and just open a new window. Now, I'm doing this in here because I have already signed up for ChatGPT. So what you're going to do is just type in ChatGPT.com. When you get to the page, you're going to click on Sign Up. It's free to do it. And uh, once you sign up, you'll get a screen that's very similar to this um, where you can type into this prompt. So go ahead and sign up for it. You might as well. That way it'll keep a running list of things for you to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and log into my actual account now here. So now I'm logged into my ChatGPT. From here on the left-hand side, we can see there's some stuff I've been messing with, you know, some apps I've downloaded for it. There's some things you can do to play around, but we're here to do LARP stuff. So we're gonna come down to this bar right here. And, you know, maybe I'm at a two day, you know, weekend LARP and I'm sitting in the plot shed or monster shed or whatever you call it at your game. And uh, we're all sort of burned out, fresh out of ideas. So what we can do is pull up ChatGPT on our laptop or on our phone and come in here and we can come up with a adventure line or plot module or whatever you call them at your game, a storyline. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna type into this bar at the bottom and the more advanced stuff you type into it, the better the result will be. Now, you can be fairly vague. You could just say, like, you know, create a one-shot LARP adventure for me, and it'll do something. But if you're a little bit more precise, you'll get a much more custom-tailored result. And you can play with it quite a bit. And this may be something you even want to do before you go to the game. However, I would choose to come up with the ideas myself and encourage others to do so and use ChatGPT as a crutch or as a tool to help optimize or just give you a little bit different ideas rather than use this completely. You can completely use this. You could have ChatGPT write everything for you for your entire event. And while I think that that would probably be okay, ChatGPT is still not the end all be all, even though it is immensely powerful and very cool. But let's go ahead and do something here with it. So what I'm gonna type in is just very simply, uh, create a one-shot adventure for a medieval fantasy LARP. Now I have rogues and mages and fighters and stuff in my game, so I wanna make sure that I include everyone in this adventure. So um, the plot should include Make sure you spell stuff right. The plot should include um, traps or puzzles. Something magical. And several combat breaks. This week's, hmm, this week's module includes orcs and bandits. So let's go ahead and include those in here. This should include orcs and bandits as the main we could write enemies or antagonist and then we go ahead and hit this black arrow and see what happens
Now you can probably see a little bit of this as it's writing. And if your mind isn't blown, then you've probably used this stuff before. But if this is your first time seeing stuff like this, you know, it's probably pretty mind blowing that it's just spitting this stuff out of the ether. So now that this has run this, we're going to go back up to the top and we're going to check it out. <clears throat> so one shot adventure, the enchanted forest of Felithar, however you want to pronounce it. Overview. The players are a group of adventurers hired to retrieve a magical artifact, the crystal of Falathar, from the depths of an ancient forest. The forest is said to be enchanted and filled with various dangers, including orcs and bandits who seek the crystal for their own nefarious purposes. The setting of the adventure takes place in the enchanted forest of Felithar, a mystical woodland filled with magical creatures, ancient ruins, and treacherous terrain. The forest is dense and dark, with a pervasive sense of magic in the air. So the objectives are going to be to navigate through the forest, to find the entrance to the ancient runes, solve magical puzzles, overcome traps, engage in combat, retrieve crystals. So basically it's paraphrasing what we typed in. So key locations. This could be helpful for your setup crew. You need a forest entrance, dark imposing entrance with thick twisted trees, and you need to prepare a small bandit camp, three to four NPCs block the path. Players must fight or negotiate to pass. I like that it gives an option or negotiate to pass instead of just fighting. Um, the forked path, a split in the trail with two signs, one leading to peril and the other to safety. There's a puzzle there. The signs are enchanted and both paths lead to danger, but differently. Players must decipher a riddle on a nearby stone to choose the less perilous path. So there is no riddle here but we can come up with something encounters the left path trapped with a swinging log traps in a pitfall right path ambushed by a small group of orcs four to five of them after that is the enchanted glade beautiful scene clearing with glowing plants and a small pond there's a puzzle there the glade contains a magical barrier players must solve a puzzle involving aligning rune stones in the correct order to dispel the barrier encounters a group of forest sprites like, where did they come up with that from? Um, Non-hostile and less provoked. That's great. They can provide hints or hinder progress. Ruin entrance. Ancient moss-covered entrance to underground ruins. Pressure plates that trigger dark traps. Magical glyph that must be de deactivated by solving a logic puzzle involving moving stones to match a specific pattern. And a patrol of bandits. So this looks like also you could run this with maybe three to five NPCs if you needed. So I kept it small in scope as well. Crystal chamber, large underground chamber with the crystal of Falathar on a pedestal in the center. Crystals projected by a magic trap that requires solving a sequence puzzle to disarm. Final battle with a mixed group of orcs and bandits, 8 to 10, who have tracked the players to the chamber. The quest giver, so starting out, is an elderly wizard named Elowin, or Elowin, or however you want to pronounce it, who provides the adventurers with the mission and some magical items to aid them. Force Sprite, a helpful sprite named Lyra or Lyra, however you want to say it, who can offer guidance or hints. Bandit Leader, cunning and ruthless bandit leader named Garrick, who leads the human antagonist. Orc Chieftain, a British Orc Chieftain named Grohl, who seeks the crystal to gain power for his clan. Magic items and rewards if you want to do that. Illin's Amulet, grants temporary protection against magical attacks once a day. Potion of Healing. Crystal Falathar, magic artifact can be used to perform powerful spells or as a bargaining chip in future adventures. I like that it gives you an option to expand. The adventure flow. So, you know, the intro, and this is, you know, sort of how it should just run through real quick. Flow chart, additional tips and short puzzles and traps are balanced. Encourage role playing interaction with NPCs. Adjust combat difficulty based on players' abilities. Provide opportunities for creative problem solving teamwork. So, this right here is enough of an outline to run off of and we didn't type in very much to start this is a pretty fleshed out you know adventure for a larp you can fill in the gaps here no problem um at a weekend event very easily you know some of the stuff may need altered to match your game better um you know you can custom tailor it you know on paper now that you have an outline but if you want chat gpt to do more for you so as long as you stay in this same thread, you don't go up here to create a new one. 
So if you want to create a new one, you can click new chat up here. But if you want to stay in this sort of groove here, what you could do is come down to the bottom. You don't have to retype everything. You could just say, could you provide riddles and no, let's do, could you provide detailed riddles and problems for where they are suggested in the adventure not problems let's change it to riddles and puzzles so now every place where it had a puzzle or a riddle in the storyline above it's going to give us the actual puzzles the actual riddles to make it easier on us so we don't have to come up with all of that stuff so if you don't want this many puzzles or riddles i mean obviously you can drop them out of it or you could ask it specifically to only include two riddles or something whenever you're making this um you know we can see that there's quite a bit involved here um but now that we have these details the forked path riddle so when they get there the riddle on the stone is in shadows deep where danger lies. One path will fool the wanderer's eyes. In safety's guise, the peril hides. Choose the path where wisdom guides. And the solution is the players need to deduce that the sign indicating safety is the deceptive one. The correct path is the one labeled peril. As true safety lies in recognizing the riddle's warning about deception. So some of these um, riddles and puzzles and stuff are hit and miss on here. Um, but you know in a pinch they're great um here's the puzzle for the enchanted glade you know for aligning the stones and it show, tells you you know the correct order to align them in the entrance trap puzzle you know tells you where to step this can be done with you know paver stones or pieces of paper or you know whatever you have in your game to represent uh the magical glyph you know how to solve that and you know so on and so forth so it's just immensely immensely cool and powerful and you know just sort of tells you everything that you need to know as far as these games go um let's say so i like the idea that it had the um like the pixies or whatever in it but let's add um let's say there's a helpful npc that they meet um you know let's say uh Rewrite, rewrite this whole adventure, but include everything and also add a helpful merchant that is encountered along the way. And include a an ogre as the orc leader. Let's do that. Make it a little bit different. So what's going to do is it's going to rewrite the entire mission here, except it's going to include you know all the information we asked for it to include now it has the helpful merchant on there we saw that it includes now the information for the puzzles and riddles so that it's all here this way if you want to print it out or something it's much easier now you have an ogre chieftain instead of the orc on here But basically, the same stuff, but now it's just a little bit more organized, um, so it's easier for you to find. And, you know, I really encourage you whenever you come in here to just play with this and just, you know, do whatever you um, want to do as far as your prompts are concerned to try to get it to custom tailor what you're trying to do. Now, you're not going to be able to get statistics and stuff like that out of it, you know, hit points, whatever, however your game operates. Um, however, you can ask it for suggestions on certain things, 
but mostly it's just going to give you real sort of basic stuff so you're always going to have to fill in some of the details here for your specific game however this will definitely give you fantastic ideas so this is our enchanted forest larp adventure you know we could have asked this to take place in a castle we could have asked for this to take place in a cave instead of an enchanted glen you know we could have asked for it to take place you know on another plane uh whatever we wanted to do and chat GPT will um, follow those command prompts. So like I said, it's very powerful, and I would highly encourage anyone who's interested to check this out and use it. Um, I hope that this video has showcased its ability uh, fairly well. I think for a casual user, being able to just get in here, go ahead and type in a prompt to be able to come up with these one shots would be very helpful to you. You could run through a bunch of these before an event so you have some things to go off of. Um, you can make a folder full of these sort of one shots that just lays around, you know, in case, you know, people are, you know, not feeling it or they're, um, you know, bored or you run through a lot of modules in an event and you're sort of burned out on ideas. You know, you can use this on the spot or you could have some pre-printed um, to go along with it. Uh, there's a lot more, a lot more that can be done with this. However, I just wanted to show you real basics here today. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, and I will try to show you some more advanced stuff that we can do on here and how deep this rabbit hole really goes and what you can really pull out of this. Um, but like I said, I definitely encourage you to check it out. Play around with it on your own, see what you can come, come up with, and uh, definitely, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. And, uh, of course, as always, adventure on.